uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and guys in this video i'm talking about the same concept which is how to configure active directory federation service and this is my third video in this series so guys in this video the next part of the series is like you know configuring active directory federation service for internal users to access an internal claim aware application so again it's a very uh, lengthy configuration so i'm dividing in part so this is third of this series and you can say third part of this uh, configuration and i'm taking only two two steps for this step one is like configure a token signing certificate and configure a claim provider so what and all uh, what is the meaning of token signing certificate and all uh, this claims provider i have already spoken about so many times so now i will tell you only the configuration how to configure it so it is very simple uh not simple you have to follow a couple of things so i'm using same server same setup what and all i'm configuring from the uh, very beginning okay now here you have to remember one thing you need to take care which is like you know this thing certificate cannot be modified within adfs while the adfs automatic rollover feature is enabled okay so first of all uh, before going further you have to disable this then only we can do this configuration or you will get error okay so the, there is a command to uh, configure this and uh, you can do it easily so let me show you the command is like you know very simple here like uh, let me increase font So that it will be visible very clearly so this is a command set adfs property auto certificate rollover false so you have to run this command on uh, your server adfs so i have two server here india.com i'm using same one so let me just paste here and hit enter and now if i run command like get uh adfs properties pro per t's and hit enter so i think i shouldn't give any space here so here i can find that easily i will have to find out that uh, uh ADFS somewhere it will show you false okay this is the output of that command so there are lots of commands here somewhere it will show you false because I have given that false command it properties so I'm not able to see it where it is but it will be uh, disabled ADFS okay i'm not going in detail but it will be false so same command you have to run on both server here also and put this the command is successful definitely it will be somewhere 
EFS Okay, it is wasting time, guys. You can find it out somewhere. It will be. So basically, it should be like. Uh, let me. Where is my PPT? It should be automatic enrollment. Okay, so I will move uh, for further configuration. So what you have to do here, uh, you know, just go to console now and uh, certificate. So if it is done, then we will not have any error here. So first I'm going to my India and if it is not then definitely we will get error. So this is my ADFS console. So once again I can open it. This is my previous configuration so let me delete this. And this federation, active directory federation, management and here go to service and certificate just right click on the certificate add token signing certificate so we are not getting any error because we have run that command so if you click more choice you you got couple of things here if you just expand this you got you know like uh, win india i'm doing on india so i have three three certificate here so which is correct uh, We have to check once again. It was not this three. I think this one. And I will check this also. Okay, that that's the one, the second one. Okay, it should be correct only. Yes, I'm going with this only. It is telling key is less than 2084 bits. So it's okay. I'm going with this. Ensure that the service account service. Okay. Okay. Similarly, you have to do here also. Close all this. And once again, I will open. Active Directory Federation Management Click Service Certificate So again it is showing you lots of certificate So here also we have three certificate So again, I will have to check uh, if I missed which one it was. I think 003 it seems. For this 002. For this one, 1B002. One One B zero zero two view. It should be, yeah. Yes, this one zero zero two. Click OK. Click OK here. And yes, give OK. So we have done this basic thing. Now I would like to verify here also because I'm a little bit not sure that certificate. So if I if I can install the correct one, it was 002 only. That serial number. Oh here we got it. 
it was 2C002 so if I try once again so this if I view 2C yeah this is the one second I installed let me install one more time already exist okay fine so you need to be very careful with this certificate next option what we have to do here now we have done the the, the first thing okay and uh, Uh, you have option here like uh, Active Directory Federation Management. You can see a couple of things. I will show you here. If you expand this certificate, and you can you can configure it like primary or secondary like this. So if you want, uh, you can you know uh, make it set as primary. Yes. And here also you can do it. And you can delete this. Delete this token signing from both the server you have to delete. Okay, now next. Uh, we have done the first step of this configuration or uh, first requirement which is configuring a token ring signing certificate now we will configure a claim provider trust so how to do it you have to go to federation management console once again federation management console on both the server india.com okay here uh, you need to go to uh, test relationships so you should see here test relationship claim test provider uh, claim provider trust okay Claim provider trust, then right click, add this. And give start. wait we'll see something else here edit rule okay this active directory you have to go here first you do not need to do anything and you have to make certain changes here acceptance transfer uh, transform rule tab you should see here this is called acceptance transform rules and click add rule very critical guys you have to be very careful while configuring Okay, add transform, uh, transform claim rule wizard appears on this select uh, rule uh, template. Select rule template from here. Claim rule template. Send LDAP attribute as claim. You have to select as claims. Okay, and uh, then click next here here you have to give claim rule name so I'm giving this outbound spelling mistake LDAP
attributes rule okay very important here we have to select active directory and now mapping of ldap attribute to outgoing claim type so first of all here uh, you have to give email address select email address from here is it reflecting yes so email address here also you should select email address outgoing claim email address on top only second you should select uh, upn upn the side also you should select upn where is upn here this one and third one you should select display name display name this side only you can give name let's see what is coming name only and just skip finish and uh, apply okay so I have done this on my india.com similarly I have to do same thing on my this server also okay so for this I need to go to here and uh, edit rule this option here add rule and uh, this one click next give here name once again like uh, what was that uh, claim rule name you can give once again out want ldap attributes rule and uh, what is this so no 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 wait wait I need to go to previous it seems oh this one correct now not membership I need to select this then only I will get that option that is what I'm telling you guys if you make a mistake you will not be able to understand so be very careful with this out of bond LDAP attributes rule and select here active directive once again and same here you will have to select uh, first email address this side also email address is it on top yes u p n u p n and name display name this side also name and finish so we have done this on both the server so guys in this this much only and next video I will show you how to configure you know uh, the claims application to trust incoming claim by running the WIF federation utility so I hope this information would be informative and uh, wait for my next video the rest of part will be covered in next video till then bye bye have a nice time Thanks for watching for this video.